No one questions that it has been a challenging year for our country and the world. Along with the rest of the United States, Puerto Rico has demonstrated incredible resolve in the face of twin economic and health challenges. That's on top of the other battles you have faced in recent years. The new administration in place this year presents many opportunities to improve the financial and physical health of families across the country as the world emerges from the pandemic. I have been steadfast, for example, in my advocacy for fair treatment for Puerto Rico's Medicaid program. Almost two years ago, Congress took a big step towards pulling this critical health care program for Puerto Rico on a better path. At that time, I battled for four years to increase federal funding, but the Trump administration wouldn't go for it. We're going to stay at this fight until it's done right. There's a big deadline coming up this fall, and I don't want to see Puerto Rico and the citizens who count on Medicaid for essential health care left in the lurch. That issue is at the front of my mind, but there are other key areas to strengthen Medicare and Medicaid benefits to meet the needs of seniors and families. That means, for example, making Medicare work better for older people with chronic conditions, usually multiple chronic conditions. That also means re reducing racial health disparities that exist across the healthcare system. There's a lot of opportunity to close that gap through my position as chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. It means improving mental health care and helping communities reimagine public safety through mobile crises programs like CAHOOTS, programs that I just helped fund as part of the American Rescue Plan. The year ahead will be full of challenges, but also full of opportunities that will give us the chance to make health care better for millions. Thank you all for inviting me to speak today. I look forward to working with you in the critical months ahead.